Then the money goes like this. Popeye's milk, McDonald's Pepsi, her Pepsi gum piece, A, B, C, D. So let's go group by group. Group one, muscular diseases. In this group, we have two lines, which are the first two lines. Popeye's milk and McDonald's Pepsi. This reminds us of the two classic mainly muscular disorders, which is Pompe disease and McArdle disease. The P in Popeye's stands for Pompe and the M in McDonald's stands for McArdle. So the drink each of them is holding reminds us of the enzyme which is deficient in each disease. M in milk is for maltase and P in Pepsi is for phosphorylase. And because we're in the muscular diseases, this is of course the muscular phosphorylase. So that's what the mnemonic helps us remember. But how do we differentiate between both diseases in a clinical case? Well, what we need to remember is that although both diseases affect the muscular system, they affect the muscular system different. Pompe disease is a lysosomal disorder that mainly affects the cardiac. The main complication you should really look out for here is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. When this disease presents in children, they're typically hypotonic. When it presents in adults, they usually complain of muscle weakness. But the main thing in both types of patients is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. A good way to remember this is in Pompe, the pump is sick. McArdle disease, on the other hand, does not affect the heart at all. It only compromises skeletal muscle. Patients experience exercise intolerance, cramps, and something called the second wind phenomenon, which is a sudden improvement in exercise tolerance after rest.